After years of speculation and leaked images, the U.S. Navy has officially unveiled its newest air-to-air -air missile, the AIM-174. This missile is an air-launched version of the already successful SM-6 interceptor, and it now holds the title of the longest-ranged air-to-air missile in U.S. history. This weapon merges the quasi-ballistic capabilities of Russia's highly acclaimed Kinzhal missile with the renowned air-to-air -air proficiency of the AIM-54 Phoenix missile, all in a system that's already proven its worth on the battlefield. Let's delve into the SM-6, the AIM-174, and their implications for the future of air warfare. It's no secret that a significant motivation behind the American push for AI-piloted aircraft is the potential for conflict with China. Ground news makes it easier than ever to stay informed on stories like this and others while cutting through the bias often found in today's media coverage. Ground News is an aggregator that collects stories from news outlets worldwide, presenting them in a single, easy-to-read feed. This allows you to not only stay updated but also compare how different outlets cover stories based on their political bias. For instance, Ground News covered the recent U.S. Air Force air combat exercises, where an AI-piloted F-16, with Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall aboard, faced off against a human-piloted F-16. Recent images of a U.S. Navy Super Hornet carrying air-launched SM-6 missiles suggest that the Navy is close to putting one of the longest-ranged air-to-air missiles in history into service. These new weapons, designated AIM-174, aim to provide America's carrier-based fighters the ability to engage enemy aircraft from hundreds of miles away, while also offering capabilities to engage enemy warships and intercept ballistic or cruise missiles. Equipping Super Hornets with these weapons could significantly enhance the Navy's offensive and defensive capabilities, especially in the Pacific. The SM-6 missile, now known as the AIM-174 in its air-launched form, has already proven itself in various roles. The Pentagon describes it as a tri-mission-capable weapon, capable of anti-air, sea-based terminal defense, and anti-surface warfare. This versatile missile can engage a variety of targets, from enemy aircraft to surface targets like warships, at ranges exceeding 200 miles. Notably, it is the only interceptor in the U.S. arsenal already capable of taking down maneuvering hypersonic missiles. Earlier this week, aviation photographer Aeros808 on Instagram posted images of two AIM-174s mounted on an F divided by a minus 18E Super Hornet from VFA-192 Golden Dragons at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam in Hawaii. These Super Hornets were participating in the ongoing RIMPAC 2024 maritime combat exercises, involving 29 nations and over 25,000 military personnel. The images revealed the AIM-174B designation and confirmed the missile's intended air-to-air -air role. The missile's designation and the ongoing tests indicate that the Navy has been working on this capability for at least three years. The SM-6, also known as the RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile ERAM, was initially designed to engage air-breathing threats like fighters and cruise missiles from beyond the horizon. It can receive updated target information from various assets via the Naval Integrated Fire Control Counter-Air NIFCCA, concept. This allows the missile to be guided to its target area using semi-active radar control or onboard inertial guidance. Once in proximity, it switches to its onboard radar seeker, which is a larger version of the radar system found in the AIM-120 AMRAM. When launched from a Mark 41 vertical launch tube, the SM-6 uses a Mark 72 rocket booster to achieve an unclassified range of at least 230 miles. However, when launched from a high-speed, high-altitude fighter like the F-A-18, the range is likely greater. Comparisons with other air-launched variants of ship-based weapons suggest that the AIM-174 could engage airborne targets at ranges beyond 200 miles and surface targets from even further. This incredible range means the AIM-174 can hit targets far beyond the detection range of the Super Hornets and Slash APG-79 AESA radar. Integration with the NIFCCA concept is crucial, allowing Super Hornets to launch these missiles from hundreds of miles away while relying on other radar arrays, such as those on Aegis warships, AWACS, or F-35s, to provide target data. In essence, Super Hornets could serve as missile trucks for stealthy F, 35 CS, which would spot targets and relay coordinates back to the Super Hornets carrying these powerful missiles. 
Engaging enemy fighters from such a distance is challenging, but the AIM-174 could be devastating against larger, slower targets like AWACS, tankers, ISR aircraft, and bombers. The missile's secondary role as a surface warfare asset means it can engage both aircraft and enemy warships from standoff ranges, making it a valuable asset as the US prepares for potential conflict in the Pacific. The AIM-174 can reach speeds around Mach 3.5 when engaging airborne threats and likely exceed Mach 5 when targeting surface threats, making it a quasi-ballistic missile akin to Russia's Kinzhal. When engaging air-to-air -air targets, it resembles the legendary AIM-54 Phoenix, but with double the range. The US military is developing other advanced air-to-air -air weapons, like the forthcoming AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile JATM, which is expected to have a range of around 200 miles. However, the AIM-174 stands out due to its proven combat capabilities and broader operational role. Super Hornets armed with these missiles could significantly enhance the offensive and defensive capabilities of a carrier air wing. In 2014, an SM-6 set a record for the longest surface-to-air engagement in naval history, and it has since broken its own record multiple times. The missile has demonstrated its ability to intercept medium-range ballistic missiles, making it a crucial component of U.S. missile defense. In combat, the SM-6 has successfully intercepted anti-ship ballistic missiles, showcasing its versatility and effectiveness. Launching the AIM-174 from aircraft increases the possible attack vectors, complicating defense for adversaries. This missile's potential as America's most capable air-to-air -air missile and its multi-purpose role make it a significant addition to the U.S. Navy's arsenal. The AIM-174 will likely never be carried internally by America's stealth fighters due to its size. For comparison, the AIM-120 AMRAAM, America's premier radar-guided air-to-air missile, is about 12 feet long, 7 inches in diameter, and weighs around 356 pounds. In contrast, the AIM-174 is 21.5 feet long, 21 inches in diameter, and weighs around 3,300 pounds, including a 140-pound warhead. While small for anti-ship duties, this warhead is massive for engaging enemy aircraft. The images from Aeros 808 showed two AIM-174s on a Super Hornet, likely mounted on BRU-32 heavy-duty ejector racks. These racks can handle ordnance up to 4,400 pounds, and the Super Hornet can carry up to 17,750 pounds of ordnance, theoretically allowing it to carry up to five of these massive missiles. However, it's more likely that Super Hornets would carry two AIM-174s along with other weapons or fuel tanks. With three squadrons of F-A, 18 Super Hornets and one of F-35 CS on a typical carrier, each with 10 to 12 aircraft, a carrier could deploy 30 to 36 Super Hornets, each carrying two AIM-174s. This would represent 60 to 72 of these air-launched SMSIXS, adding significant firepower to the carrier strike group. The AIM-174 offers a combat radius of over 500 miles, allowing Super Hornets to engage targets from more than 700 miles away, with refueling from MQ-25 Stingray drone tankers extending this range further. However, much of this remains speculative. The Navy has not officially confirmed plans to put the AIM-174 into service. Still, the repeated sightings of these missiles on Super Hornets over the past three years, their designation, and their use in RIMPAC 2024 suggest that the Navy is progressing towards operational deployment. The AIM-174's broad capability set, ability to be used by both warships and fighter jets, and proven combat performance make it potentially the most significant addition to the U.S. Navy's arsenal in decades. I will be closely monitoring the Navy's announcements about this weapon.